Hello, my name's Richard and I'd like to read my book to you today, Perdu. The sky was dark, the wind howled, and so did Perdu. Poor Perdu, a little lost dog, all alone, with no place to call home and nothing to call his own but an old red scarf. Rain fell on his night black coat and the grass was cold beneath his paws. He watched a leaf tumble through the air and land with a whispery tap on the water. It danced in the current, spinning and turning as it floated away. That leaf has a place to be, thought Perdu. But what about me? Perdu decided to follow the leaf as it sailed on through the night, through fields and through woods, through grass short and tall. The night faded away, black became blue, and the sun began to rise. The gentle stream that had been his friend rushed and raced away from him, carrying his leaf out of sight. The ground beneath his paws felt different now. Tip, 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 went his claws on the city concrete. Well, people rushed and raced around him. Everyone had somewhere to be. I must find my place, thought Pedu. I must find my somewhere. All day he searched. Inside, outside, up and down, but there was no place for Perdu. Get out, they shouted, go away, shoo! Poor Perdu, his little legs ached and his four paws were tired and sore. His tummy rumbled and grumbled, he had to find something to eat. Perdu slipped inside. Happy voices filled the warm air. Tick, clack, clip went knives and forks. The food smelled wonderful. But uh-oh, crash, bump, clang. People growled and people barked. You silly dog, look what you've done. Padu felt the hard cold of the window glass against his fur. There was nowhere to go. He cowered and he trembled until, scared, he growled back. Scared, he snarled. Scared, he barked. Horrible animal, the people shouted. Oh, run, dash, dodge, duck. Poor Perdu, was there nowhere for him to belong? When at last he stopped, he found he was in a park surrounded by tall, shadowy trees. He made himself a circle of pine cones, pebbles and leaves and curled up tight in the middle, a scared little ball of worry. A leaf fell gently on the grass beside him and he looked up. There was a little girl and she was holding his scarf. Is this yours? she asked softly. Perdu looked into her kind eyes as she tied his scarf. And all at once, he knew he was safe. Together, they turned to leave. And at last, Perdu had a place to call home. And there's Perdu.